Hello. It's good to see you. Today, we are back with a whole bunch of stuff from Aldi. I, um, I took, I took this week off work to use up some vacation time so I wouldn't lose it at the end of the year. We're only allowed to carry over so many hours. And, um, so I decided to take a week off. And what I've been doing is I've been taking care of, you know, making some appointments, taking care of stuff that I can't do because I'm at work all day. And, um just trying to do some stuff around the house and it's wonderful to be able to do that and I'm very grateful for the opportunity to take a week and just do some stuff like that and one thing I decided to do today was to go to Aldi and buy some stuff to go in the blessing box we didn't really need anything I picked up a few things for us but most of this is for the blessing box you know, if you don't know what the blessing box is it's uh it's kind of like if you have those little free libraries in, in your area that people will put up and it's built kind of like a birdhouse but it's big and it has shelves in it and you just put books in there and people can borrow a book bring it back put in you know other books whatever you want to do it's kind of like that but it's for um non-perishable items uh toiletries any any anything that you think somebody might need so i decided to I occasionally will it's it's run by a church it's not a church I go to but I just happen to see it and uh, and so I decided to occasionally just put some stuff in there and all this won't fit but I thought I would you know take it and then put it in there and check it a few days later and maybe put some more in so this isn't all gonna go at once and what I did was I just went through Aldi and when I felt compelled to pick up something for the blessing box I, I picked it up and one thing a lot of people don't think about is non-food items that might you know might be a stretch for the budget to get so a lot of this is not food items um, some of it is but not not all of it so I thought I would just take a chance you know take an opportunity today to show you some of the stuff that we got and it, like always I would start with the crinkly stuff first Where's my receipt? oh and they had the sneak peek out for the stuff they're gonna have at Aldi next week and guess what's coming next week <laughs> Christmas stuff can you believe it it's only October personally and, and I know everybody's different when it comes to looking at Christmas stuff personally most years I don't really want to see Christmas stuff until you need to at least get to mid-November I mean I'll look at it but I don't know that I would really want to purchase any but it looks like they're gonna have their nostalgic tree they have one that's red and white with a little peppermint on top and they have little string lights and canvas bins I mean they have a lot of cool stuff they have those bows that they have every year but yeah next week starting with the Christmas stuff already oh my gosh I don't know how I feel about that so we're gonna start with the crinkly stuff like we always do and it's all kind of jumbled up here I tried to bring all the crinkly stuff forward I read I read a list online the other day of things that food pantries look for and hope to get but a lot of people don't think to donate and I kind of had that in mind when I did some of this shopping here the list wasn't super helpful though because a lot of the stuff on the list I understand I get it but I can't put it in the blessing box like perishable stuff like eggs and cheese and bread like can't really put that in there but one thing that they mentioned that a lot of people don't think about is uh, dishwashing liquid and laundry detergent I picked up a pack of these radiance ultra dishwasher triple chamber packs now these are for a dishwasher this is dishwashing detergent so this isn't for hand washing dishes but this is an Aldi brand that we don't see very often because I don't use my dishwasher we hand wash all of our dishes here so I don't use these but we picked this up there are 18 triple chamber packs in here so this comes in a resealable bag you're gonna remove this top part here this comes off and then you have a little zipper seal right here so you can reseal it and it says that it's comparable to Cascade Platinum which I don't know anything about but it's got platinum in the name it must be really good 
So this little packet has 18 of the little the little packets in it, the triple chamber packs. So we have a pack of those. And I did get dishwashing liquid. We're gonna get to that after we do the crinkly stuff. Um, another thing that people don't think about is uh, feminine hygiene products. My Aldi doesn't have a lot of choice when it comes to stuff like that, but I picked up a pack of Blossom Maxi Pads. These are like Always, I believe. They have the little wings. These are the Overnights. Um, 11 hour protection and there are 20 pads in here. And like Blossom is, a, is an Aldi brand and like the most Aldi brands, they have the barcode pretty much on every surface. <laughs> that one doesn't except for the front, and sometimes they'll even have one on the front of the product. So this is one thing that can be hard for people to afford. Um, and if you get food assistance, you know, it helps pay for food, but it doesn't help pay for stuff like that. So sometimes that can be a challenge for people. So we got that. I have, I have more along those lines that I'll show you. I picked up some rice. This is Earthly, grain, Earthly Grains 90 second microwavable brown rice. Now this is already cooked. All you have to do is um, you squish the bag up and then you heat it up 90 seconds and it's ready to go. You can eat it as it is or you could add it to something else. If you're making something, you could add other stuff to it. This rice has no artificial flavors and no certified synthetic colors. We have more, we have more rice. They have a lot of variety when it comes to stuff like that. We have two here that are organic. Simply Nature, that's another Aldi brand. Typically the Simply Nature products have, um, they might have, you know, no preservatives or fewer, you know, ingredients. It's less processed or something like that. This is non-GMO, 90 second quinoa and brown rice. It is a blend of organic brown rice, organic red quinoa, and organic garlic. Cholesterol free and vegan. Now these are not resealable. Once you open these, you, you have to consume the products or stick it in the refrigerator. But it it's very simple. You just heat it for 90 seconds. Um, I typically, when we use these, you just break up. There's It's in here like a clump. So you have to kind of break it up and then you microwave it, and it's really good. You kind of want to test your microwave, though. I find for us, a minute, you know, 60 seconds is really enough. 90 seconds just makes it, it turns into magma at that point. <laughs> it's so hot. But yeah, so we have that quinoa and brown rice. And we also have this other organic rice. This is brown bas basmati rice. This one has no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives, and it's cholesterol-free and vegan. This one also is not resealable. We have these little notches over here. Now, before you microwave it, you want to open it about halfway so it can vent. You don't want to leave it closed. And so you don't have to cook it or anything. You just heat it up and, and it's ready to use. These are so great. And they're small, so they don't take up a lot of room in your cabinet or wherever you keep your food, it doesn't take up much room at all. It's very small. So you can actually have quite a few of these in just a little area. Now this one, I really like this one. This is a guilty pleasure for me. This is the 90 second roasted chicken flavored rice with herbs and carrots. It's really good. It has a lot of sodium in it. It does, but it's so, I would just, I eat it by itself. I haven't had any in a long time, but I picked up some to go in the blessing box because I know this is good. It's really good. And it's good with other stuff too, like if you're making chicken or something, it goes great with that. It has no artificial flavors, no certified synthetic colors. And again, it has these little notches over here that you, you're just going to pull this off and like halfway and then you cook it, you microwave it for 90 seconds. I would probably start with 60 and just see how hot it is. We don't ever do 90 seconds because it's way, way too long. I'm always afraid it's going to blow up or something. <laughs> and I have one more. I have 90 second 
jasmine rice. This is a, again, it's a microwavable rice. This is a white rice. And it has these little notches. I love this color. I just think that color is really pretty. It's kind of a mauve color. It's so pretty. It doesn't affect the flavor of the food. I just think it's pretty. I love it with this beige, this light brown here. I just think it looks pretty. But again, you see how compact this is? This is great. This is wonderful. It doesn't take up a ton of room anywhere. And I picked up two types of instant mashed potatoes. Now with these, all you have to add is water. I mean, you can add other stuff if you want to. It's very simple to make. You just need boiling water. That's it. Four cheese mashed potatoes. This is from Chef's Cupboard, which is an Aldi brand. And it says that it's made with 100% real Idaho potatoes. You just add water to this pouch in a pot or whatever, and it's ready in minutes. It's super quick. You can do it on a stovetop or microwave. And we have instructions for both of those and a big old honking barcode. Look at that. That's, that's cool. And we have one other one. This one is really good, the buttery flavor. It's made with real butter and 100% real Idaho potatoes. And again, you just add water and it's ready in minutes. We have stovetop and microwave instructions. And it says for creamier or thicker texture, you add more or less water. So you can change the consistency just based on whatever you want it to be. I like them to be a little thicker. I don't like them when they're runny. That's just me. We have crunchy granola whole grain. Look, and here we have this open window and you can see it. There, we have raisins in there, almond slivers. It's made with honey too. This is from Millville, Millville, which is an Aldi brand. You see a lot on their breakfast foods, especially their cereals. It says that this cereal, this granola, is a good source of fiber. And we have a resealable package here. There's a zipper seal up here. So you don't have to find a container to put it in. You can just leave it in this bag here. This is 14 ounces of crunchy granola, whole grain from Millville. Oats, raisins, almonds, and honey. So that could be a snack. It could be a breakfast cereal. It could be whatever you want it to be. It's really great. Our delicious and crunchy oats, raisins, almonds, and honey granola can be used as cereal, an extra touch to yogurt, oatmeal, salads, and much more. It can also be a healthy snack for when you are on the go. It's very versatile. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. It is good in some Greek yogurt. Just sprinkle some on there and mix it in. It's really good. We have another granola too. Ah, oh, this one's really good. This is another one. This is a protein granola. It has protein in it, oats, oats, and dark chocolate. Again, we have this little window that's open here and you can see what you're going to get. It has dark chocolate in there. And again, this is from Millville. And this is also a resealable package. So you can seal it up and keep it in here and they tell you the same thing. It can be a good cereal. Put it on your yogurt, oatmeal, salads. I've never thought of putting it on salads. I've never tried that, but it might be a nice crunchy substitute for croutons if you don't want to use croutons for some reason or if you just don't have any. It would add a little crunch to your salad. That's an interesting idea. This one is 11 ounces. I love dark chocolate, chocolate granola. It's really good. Let's see. Oh, oh, and this. I found these on the seasonal food aisle. I hadn't seen them before today. This is from Borissimo. Another thing that food pantries say they, that they, you know, people like to get, but you don't often see is coffee. Some nice, you know, coffee. So this is from Barissimo, which is an Aldi brand. Cafe del Dia Los Muertos for uh, the Day of the Dead. This is a dark ground coffee, 100% origin from Mexico. Uh, it is Rainforest Alliance certified. How about that? 
Now it shows you over here the, the degree of the roast, light, medium, dark. So it's kind of between medium and dark. Tells you how to brew it over here. You can make a, a regular, you could do a cold brew, you could try it iced. How about that? And you can smell it up here. Oh, it smells really good. It smells very nice. I personally don't like coffee, but I love the way roasted coffee beans smell. I love that. It smells really good. Wow, that's nice. And they also had a light, oh sorry, a medium roast. So this is kind of the same. You can see it has the similar little features here, the little graphics, the picture. And this is a medium roast. This is also 100% origin from Mexico. Low medium acidity, medium body, aromatic and mellow, slightly fruity and mild. And so it's kind of between light and medium. So it's down on this end of the scale. And again, it tells you how to make regular cold brew and iced coffee with it. That smells good. I like the other one better though. It smells good, but it's not quite as strong. And this one ain't, I can tell you about this one. Low acidity, medium body, sweet and mellow, roasting notes. Roasting notes. So yeah, I had never seen these before. These are each 12 ounces. So you can make quite a bit of coffee with that. And that again, these were on the seasonal food aisle. So it's not part of their regular coffee stuff. This is one that they have just for a limited time. Another thing that food food pantries say it, that was in the list of things that they like to get is uh, diapers and diaper wipes. I picked up a three pack of diaper wipes. Unfortunately, the packs of diapers at Aldi are kind of big and they wouldn't fit in the blessing box. Um, I'm still looking for some smaller packs. I know somebody said they have them at Dollar General. I'm going to go there later this week to see if I can find just like some small packs of diapers that might fit in there. But they have this three pack and I'm gonna split this up. I'm gonna separate these and put them in there. These diaper wipes are sensitive and they are fragrance free. They have the regular kind with the fragrance, but they also have this fragrance free. Now these are from Little Journey, which is an Aldi brand. This, um, these wipes also have the good housekeeping seal of approval, which is very nice to see. We have a little dispenser up here, so you don't have to find a container to put these packs in. You can just leave them in the container that they're in, and you open this up. There's a little catch here, and there's going to be a seal in there, and you remove it, and then you can pull the diaper wipes out, kind of like a box of tissues, you know, like that, and then you just close this back down to keep them from drying out. It says that these wipes are comparable to Pampers Sensitive. Each pack contains 64 wipes. They are 99% water and plant-based ingredients for these, and they're also hypoallergenic. Very nice. So we have some diaper wipes too. I think that's it for the crinkly stuff, but we still have plenty of stuff to look at. One thing that they had out on Everybody calls this aisle something different. I call it the Isle of Shame. A lot of people call it that, the AOS. It's this aisle of stuff. It's usually not food. It will be decorative items. There could be clothes. There could be shoes, kid stuff, stuff for your pets. There's always this wonderful combination of stuff. And for me, most of the time when I go down the aisle, I, I, see, I at least see something that looks really good. I don't always buy something. I'll, I I try to control myself, but sometimes I do buy stuff. And I noticed today that they had put out a lot of new socks, like nice warm socks. So I picked up some socks to go in the blessing box. We have this pack here. This is three pairs of men's outdoor socks. They're fully cushioned. They have a reinforced heel and toe, comfort cuff, and soft acrylic for warmth. Look how thick these socks are. So you get three pairs. Men or women can wear these, it's fine. Um, they're men's sizes six to 12. So that, that would fit. I mean, the smallest size for a woman though would be like an eight probably. But 
seven or eight. But this is a nice pack of three pairs of socks from Adventure Ridge. And it has really turned chilly around here just in the last couple of weeks. In the mornings, it's been down in the 40s. So we definitely have some cold weather coming. I absolutely do. So I was really happy to see that they had some nice warm socks out there. So we got those. I picked up some kids socks too. We have a nice pack of children's crew socks. Um, look at these have some little, little butterflies on them. These are cute. So it's six pairs of children's crew socks from Lily and Dan which I think is an Aldi thing. It says here that they're exclusively distributed and sold exclusively by Aldi. But these are some nice crew socks. Look at that. You get six pairs. Look at these pretty colors. I like the striped ones. So we have, the, these are large. These are a kid size large. And I also found some toddler socks. These are also crew socks, but these are smaller. These are 4T to 5T. And I didn't get one in every size. I just grabbed one, you know, of the, the larger size and one of the smaller size. And these are cute. They have a little snail on them, little ducks. Oh, there's a snail on that one too. <laughs> and stripes, you get some pretty striped socks too. And I think these are just solid gray. I like these with the little, the little ducks on them. <laughs> So that again is six pairs of toddler crew socks, but they're for smaller kids. Oh, and I also found a pair of utility gloves. Now these are from Garden Line, which is an Aldi brand. Garden Line. Um, these are great. They have a comfortable fit, padded knuckles. Oh, isn't that nice? Padded knuckles. Uh, water resistant and they are touch screen comparable which is really nice because if you need to check your phone really quick you don't have to take your gloves off I love, I love touch screen gloves they're so great so they have this nice padded palm right here there's some padding in there and you have your touch screen on the left and the right hand the index finger so these are some nice gloves they're a size extra large I don't know if that's men's or, or women's extra large. I'm not really sure. I picked up a pair of those. And I have I have even more socks. Look at these. Look how thick these are. Oh, wow. Look at these. Oh, my gosh. And I think most of these socks were $4.99 to $6.99, somewhere in there, per pack. So they're not super expensive. We have two pairs of men's winter socks. So they're nice and long. They're crew socks. And over here on the side, you can see what they look like. And let's see what they say about these. These are fully cushioned. They have acrylic for warmth and they have a brushed interior. So it has that really nice soft, it's like fleece kind of, that really nice soft inside part. Oh, I love socks like that. I have some like that that I've had for so long and they're so great. I like to wear socks like this around the house in the winter time because my feet get cold and I have some kind of like that. I have the little slipper socks, you know, and I love them. They keep my feet warm. So you get this one pair that's striped and then you get this solid pair right here. And again, men or women can wear them. It doesn't matter. I think actually some of the ones I have are men's socks, but I don't care. And I also picked up a pack of ladies crew boot socks and these are incredibly soft oh my gosh they have they are super soft they have a comfort fit and they are a crew they're crew length so they're they're not little ankle socks they come up to to your mid calf we have one pair here that's gray and one pair that's black and they are incredibly soft oh it's like petting a bunny rabbit <laughs> i love it so we have those and one other pair of socks. Oh, they had some Aldi Halloween socks. I thought that these were only $1.99. They have fun little Halloween socks. This one's cute. It has like a little, I don't know, a goblin on it, a, a hand and a bat. And the black pair has like a, a jack-o'-lantern on it, a scary looking jack-o'-lantern. 
these are also crew socks they're men's size 6 to 12 but I mean anybody with a big enough foot could wear those I just thought those were cute oh and this I picked up for myself because I'm frustrated with myself somewhere in my attic is a tote with my jeans in it um, I you know I went back to work full-time back in May and so it's starting to turn cold and we are allowed to wear jeans on Fridays and um, I have somewhere in my attic a tote full of you know like nice dark jeans that I could wear to work I can't find it I've gone through my whole attic I cannot find them so I saw that they had these nice sort of dark blue ladies ankle length jeggings comfort fit spandex for extra stretch and real back pockets which is a shame that that's a feature that we brag about but a lot you know if a lot of women's pants don't have pockets it's very frustrating <laughs> but I picked these up for me these were $9.99 and uh, so these are nice and dark and I can wear these on Fridays because I cannot find my I have some some skinny jeans like this I can't find them I have no idea where they are but it's been so long since I needed them I haven't worked in an office in um, before I got this job I hadn't worked in an office in over two years so all that stuff just kind of got put away <laughs> and I didn't really wear them so I put them in a tote and I just I have them they're somewhere in the attic but I cannot find them so I bought these these are for me <laughs> Now let's see oh another thing that I saw on the Isle of Shame that I thought was would be a good thing for somebody is um, seals like a, a door bottom seal right here um, it's just this adhesive stuff it's gonna help keep the drafts out and you just stick it on the bottom of your door and it's very simple I have it on the bottom of my my doors and these are from Easy Home, and I also picked up some self-adhesive weather strip seal, just some weather stripping to help keep out drafts. So we have two gap seals here for windows or doors, and they are brown. I think they also had them in white. I picked up some in brown. So I got some weather stripping and some door bottom seal from Easy Home picked up some more health and beauty products this stuff is great I have I have some of this in my shower and you really don't have to use much at all it just takes a little bit this is La Cura oatmeal body wash it's kind of like a vino products with the oatmeal you know but it's a natural colloidal oatmeal paraben and phthalate free gentle cleansing dermatologist tested now this is an 18 ounce bottle of this body wash and you really don't have to use much at all I mean a little goes a long way so I know that's a good product so I picked that up I also picked up some baby wash and it's also shampoo and this is also from Little Journey which is an Aldi brand and also just like all the other Aldi brands you will notice a little circle sometimes it's black sometimes it's blue or white it depends on the, the background of whatever it's on this is the Aldi twice as nice guarantee which is wonderful if you buy a product and there's something wrong with it or you don't like it or for any reason you want to return it if you have your receipt just take it back to the store and they will give your money back and replace it with a comparable item which is wonderful so it's twice as nice you have nothing to worry about if you want to sample and try out Aldi brands to see if you like them you don't have to worry about wasting your money if you don't like them you can take them back get your money back and get a comparable item for free this is a big container and also has a very convenient pump up here this is 27.1 ounces 800 milliliters of baby wash and shampoo very gentle very lovely look at the little otter on there there's a little otter he's floating along it's like he's holding a starfish or something so we have a little journey baby wash and shampoo and to go along with that this was something I hadn't seen before but I don't exactly look at the baby stuff my kids are teenagers 
We have Little Journey Pediatrician Tested Baby Lotion with Colloidal Oatmeal as a skin protectant. Now this lotion is free of parabens, phthalates, and fragrances. It is hypoallergenic and a daily moisturizer. That sounds like it'd be good for anybody, really. But it is labeled as a baby lotion. This is eight ounces in here. This big old baby lotion to go with that. Oh, what else did I get? We picked up some, we got some deodorant too. Now, Aldi doesn't have a huge selection of stuff like that, but I picked up what they had. I got a container of Secret Shower Fresh 24 Hour Invisible Solid. This is 2.6 ounces. I got that one. And they also had Old Spice Pure Sport High Endurance Antiperspirant Deodorant. And this is three ounces. They had Secret and Old Spice, and that was really, um, for deodorant, that was all they had. Also, I picked up some razors, which sometimes, you know, these can be expensive. Now, these are the Lacura brand. Um, I've never used this kind. I have used the women's razors. I use Billy razors because I like the fact that they're delivered and I don't have to remember to buy them. But these are cool razors. These are sensitive razors. They have three blades. They are comparable to Chic Extreme 3, and you get four razors in here in this box. So we do have some, some of those. These I have used, and they're, they're good little razors. We also have three in here. Now these are also from La Cura. These are comparable to Big Soleil, and these have three blades as well. So we have some disposable razors too, which is another one of the other things that the, the, the food pantry list said that people don't think to donate, but people really, really appreciate. I picked up some toothbrushes. These are Dentigard, which is an Aldi brand, and look at that. You see the twice as nice guarantee on that. It's on the razors too. Back here you can see it's a light blue circle. What does it look like on the other one? That's also a light blue, uh, sort of a slightly darker blue, but it's on there. Yeah, we have two toothbrushes. These are soft toothbrushes. These are perforated, so you can separate these if you want. We have a blue one and kind of a gray and white one. Toothbrushes. Um, toothpaste. I also got toothpaste. I will show you that. I can't reach it right now. <laughs> um, again, they don't have a lot of a lot of choices, but I did pick up what they had. Oh, this was something that I hadn't seen before, but I don't always look at the health and beauty stuff in Aldi. These are liquid hand soaps. You see how it looks like water? Now when it goes through the pump up here, it becomes a foam. It's a foaming hand wash. I never tried these, but they had one about a year ago that was, um, it was honeysuckle. It was either honeysuckle or gardenia. I think it was honeysuckle. It smelled so good. I liked it so much. I went back and bought all of them and I just finished using them up. But I, I have some in the bathrooms now that's just like plain unscented liquid soap because my kids said they didn't want to smell like a flower. So I just bought some unscented soap. These are from the Lacura Wellness Collection, which I've, I've never seen that before. Wellness Collection. This one is Eucalyptus and Spearmint uh, Foaming Hand Soap. I'm just going to smell that. Eucalyptus and Spearmint. Oh, that's, that's nice. It smells like, it smells like Wrigley Spearmint Gum. It smells pretty good. So we have this one, this eucalyptus and spearmint, and we had two other flavors since. We have chamomile and bergamot foaming hand soap, and you see they're just clear. Let's see what this one smells like. I thought these were some nice, these would be some nice fall soaps. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that smells really nice. It smells like chamomile, mostly. I like that. I'm trying to fasten it back. So we have this chamomile and bergamot. And if these are like, these are just like the ones I bought before. 
and they'll probably come out with some more at Christmas time with some like Christmassy scents. These last a long time. You get a lot of uses out of one of these bottles. We also have sparkling lemon foaming hand soap. So this one is just lemon. Sparkling lemon. I have to smell everything. Oh, that smells good. It smells like lemonade. Oh, I like that one. But yeah, my kids said they were tired of smelling like a flower, so they asked me to get unscented soap, so that's what we have now. <laughs> so yeah, they had these three scents of this foaming hand soap. And these were over in the health and beauty aid section if you want to find these. That's where I found them. And they also have uh, little, you know, bottles of unscented clear hand soap as well. And that's where I get the refills for my unscented soap because they have these big containers of the clear unscented soap, the liquid soap. And, and they're only like $3 for a big thing of it. So it's, it's really, it's a good deal, I think. Little Journey also makes a pediatrician-tested diaper rash cream. Look at that. A skin protectant made of zinc oxide. It's free of parabens and phthalates and fragrances. And it also has vitamin E. And it looks like this as well as the lotion also have the good housekeeping seal just like the wipes did. So that's really nice. This is a four ounce tube of diaper rash cream. Unfortunately, I don't need any of this stuff anymore. <laughs> I miss my kids being small, but I do not miss, I do not miss dealing with diaper rash. <laughs> Ugh. my God. Um, I've never tried this, but if it's anything like the body wash, I think this is great. All this stuff is stuff that the, the list I saw said that people really appreciate finding at food pantries because you normally don't. Daily moisturizing oatmeal body lotion. This is also made with a natural colloidal oatmeal. This is an 18 ounce container of lotion and it has the handy little pump at the top. And this would be a great just everyday lotion for anyone. Um, it doesn't have any fragrance at all, dermatologist tested. So this would be a nice general purpose lotion for anyone that just wanted some lotion. And I know, you know, my hands get really dry in the winter time and I, you know, I appreciate lotion in the winter time. <laughs> I also picked up a container of Welby cotton swabs. Now, this is great. You get 500 cotton swabs in here from Welby. And these have a variety of uses according to the little note, and they totally do. This container doubles as a dispenser. This is perforated on the back. You push in the little tab, pull it back, and you can just close it. You can just sort of snap it down in here once you've removed what you need. It says that these are perfect for makeup application, touching up nail polish, delicate baby care, cleaning electronics, useful for arts, crafts, and hobbies. You can use these for a variety of things. Well be. Um, these are just like Q-tips, basically, made with cotton. 500 cotton swabs. Look how neat they are in there. That's lovely. <laughs> okay. Another thing that I, I got this idea. So what I do when I go shopping for the blessing box, I really just kind of go through the store and anything that just kind of jumps out at me, I just see it and think, now that, that would be a good thing to have, you know. So one thing that kind of jumped out at me, and I never, I don't think I've ever gotten before for any of the, any of the blessing box stuff, trash bags. Trash bags are expensive. This this right here was almost $7. They've gone up a lot, I've noticed. I've been buying this kind for years, and I love them. I only recently had a bag, one of these, that had a hole in it, and I think that may be because of something that was put in the bag. Um, that's the first time, and I've used these forever, that is the first time I've ever had one of these bags have a hole in it. And again, I think it was because something sharp was put in there. I don't think it was Boulder's fault. I think it was just something that was put in the bag, and it just happened to cut the bag. This is 80 bags. Now, these are the 13-gallon size. Where does it say that? 13-gallon. Fits up to 13-gallon containers. Of course, you could put it in smaller containers if you want to. I find these to be a very good general purpose trash bag. 
this is what we, we use. You get 80 of them. And here it says they're comparable to Glad Tall Kitchen Quick Tie Bags. They have these little flaps that you can tie together. I don't buy the drawstring ones. For me, I find they don't fit in my trash can very well just because of the way it's made. Um, so I have used these forever and they're less expensive than the drawstring too. And they're very easy to just tie up. There's nothing to it because they have these little, little corners, these little tabs and you just tie it. So I thought, Putting a box of these in the blessing box would be good. Somebody might could really use some trash bags. I mean, anybody can use trash bags. And like I say, they've gone up so much in price. And I think for people who haven't been shopping in the last year or two, you might be surprised how much just everyday stuff like this, you know, not just food, but everything has gone up so much. And that's something I did for my kids. We took a little field trip to the local grocery store. I wanted them to see, just like to buy a deodorant, like look how much that is. You want a bag of chips, look how much that is. It is shocking how much stuff has gone up. And they, they were shocked to see how much stuff that I buy all the time. Like, I can't believe it's that much. So I just wanted them to get a little idea. If you haven't shopped in a while, go walk around in a grocery store. <laughs> And look at the prices. You might you might be in for a shock too. <laughs> and I do have the toothpaste here. I can reach it now. <laughs> they this is right now. This is the only toothpaste they have at my Aldi. Crest Complete Plus with scope kills millions of bad breath germs. It's very nice. Crest Complete Plus. This is a 5.4 ounce tube of toothpaste. So little, just little stuff like this I think would be great to put in there. And another thing that we've started doing here is that when, when we go to the dentist and we, we have our checkup, you know, they always give you that little bag with a little toothpaste and the toothbrush and the floss. I put those in the blessing box too because usually we just throw them in a drawer and they just sit there and nobody uses it. So I've started putting those in there too. So just little tooth, you know, the toothbrushes. Because we all, we all use electric toothbrushes, so we don't use the ones they give us. So I'd rather just go in the blessing box or somebody that might be able to use it. What else do we have? Oh, now again, I have to keep in mind the size of the item and the, the size of the blessing box. I can't really fit a full size thing of laundry detergent in there. It would be tough. But I got this. This one's kind of short. This is Tide Simply All-in-One. This is a liquid laundry detergent. You have your measuring cup up here like that. This is 22 loads. You can do 22 loads of laundry and tackles 99% of the most common stains and odors. This is refreshing breeze scent. Stains out, odors out, fresh scent. This is, I use Tandle, their version of uh, Game at Aldi. I don't use this one. Oh, it smells nice though has a nice scent to it. They didn't have any unscented detergent. Sometimes they do. They didn't have any today, unfortunately. But I went ahead and just picked up this Tide Simply All-in-One to go in there. And sometimes I buy the little things of detergent at Dollar Tree and put some of those in there too. And here we have our liquid, dish, our dishwashing liquid, Radiance. This is like, um, this is like Dawn dishwashing liquid grease cleaning power and it has the ultra it co it's comparable to the dawn ultra original scent dishwashing liquid and you see it has the little dispenser cap up here this little flip cap this is a 24 ounce bottle of liquid uh, dishwashing liquid so this does not go in the dishwasher this is for washing dishes by hand do not put this in the dishwasher it will make a mess you'll have bubbles everywhere <laughs> And so I picked up some pads. I also picked up a box of Tampax Pearl. They only had super. This is all they had. So I picked up a box of 18 super tampons. I wanted to get some, you know, get like a couple different kinds, but all they had was super. But they do have different absorbency levels. You're supposed to use the lowest absorbency that you need. That's why I wanted to get some different ones, but all they had was this. But I did pick up a pack, a box of Tampax Pearl. And this little bitty box, if you don't have to buy stuff like this, 
this little bitty box was six dollars for 18. It, it can be very expensive to buy those products. Oh, it's, it's tough. Um, oh, and I picked up some OxyClean. This is a multi-purpose cleaner. It says here you could do laundry and more. It is a stain remover, but you can use it to clean other things too. You can use it for laundry, upholstery, and you can use it in your kitchen and bathroom too. So this is a wonderful multi-purpose cleaner, the little spray here. This is 21 and a half ounces of OxyClean laundry and more stain remover. Nice little thing to have there. Um, I think everything else is food. I noticed something interesting. If you've bought these cereal bars, little fruit and grain bars, the package has gotten a lot smaller. Look at this little box. They used to be like, <laughs> I think they just did it to reduce packaging because you could feel they're very tight in there. Plus, I think the bars themselves have gotten smaller. I think these are definitely smaller than they used to be. I think they used to be quite a bit bigger than they are now. But anyway, for Millville, again, we see Millville on here. We have fruit and grain soft baked bars. So these are like the Nutri-Grain Nutri cereal bars made with real fruit filling. You're going to get six breakfast bars in here. So we have blueberry flavor. This box becomes a dispenser if you wish to use it that way. It's perforated across here, up this way, across here. So you can actually tear this off and then just remove the bars and just keep them in the box if you want to. Let's see, each bar is 1.3 ounces. They used to be bigger than that. They're shrinking. The Nutri-Grain ones probably are too, but the price has not shrunk. No, the price has gone up. We have um, strawberry fruit and grain soft baked bar, but it's not just at Aldi in case you didn't know, it's, it's everywhere any grocery store you go to. Strawberry soft baked bar. Look at that. These are great for a little snack, something you can eat on the way if you just need a quick bite. These are wonderful. They're tasty and they're also kind of filling too. And I have a third flavor. We have the apple cinnamon fruit and grain soft baked bar. And each one of these has six cereal bars in it. This is um, a total of 7.8 ounces, and they are all 7.8 ounces. From Millville, again, you see that on a lot of cereal items. That is an Aldi brand. Oh, this was something they had up by the register. Now, this is not something they normally have. I thought this would be a great little on-the-go thing for somebody, a kid or an adult or whoever. This is from Campbell's. This is a microwavable soup with a pop top. You don't need a can opener. I tried to avoid stuff that requires a can opener, um, but I didn't totally. Um, but this is double noodle soup. And look up here in this little compartment, we have little goldfish crackers to go with our soup. So it's soup and crackers. Look at that. All you need is a spoon. You could just turn it up and drink it all. I don't know how that would go. But all you have to do is microwave it, just heat it and eat it. And it comes with a whole thing of goldfish crackers up there. And I got one other one. This is a, a Campbell's tomato soup. And so this is a little container of microwavable Campbell's tomato soup. And it comes with, again, the little goldfish crackers on the top. <laughs> Get it? That's neat. So it's not like, it's not as big as a full size thing of soup, but this will be a nice little. Oh, a convenient little snack. And I also picked up some tuna. Now their tuna does not have a pop top on it, unfortunately. And what I thought about doing, because I will, I will be making more than one trip to the Blessing Box. I may actually go somewhere like Dollar Tree and see if I can find some can openers to stick in there. Um, I might try to do that before I go. And, and it's, like I was saying, it's not all going to fit at once, but I will put in what I can and then take some more in a few days. So with the two types of tuna in cans here, I have some other tuna as well. This is chunk light 
tuna in water. Now this is from Northern Catch, which is an Aldi brand. And so we have we have some tuna there, and we also have ch uh, chunk light tuna in oil. So you can have it in water or oil. And this is also from Northern Catch. A little, those are five ounce cans of tuna. And now this does have a pop top. This this tuna and chicken is wonderful. It's so versatile. You can eat it just like it is, or you can add it to something. You could make some tuna salad or chicken salad. You know, you could do all kinds of things with it. This is from Brookdale. This is pre-cooked white premium chunk chicken breast in water. It's fully cooked and gluten-free, and it does have a, a pop top on it up here. This is a larger can, obviously. This is 12.5 ounces. Of course, a lot of that's water, but we have a, a can of chicken. It's very good. Oh, oh, this is one of my favorite things at Aldi, and I was so happy when they made it part of their regular stock and not just a seasonal thing. It, it's so good. This right here. If you like potatoes, if you like mashed potatoes or really any kind of potatoes, I highly recommend this Harvest Potato Soup. It is so good. Oh, my word. I have this and just put a few crackers in it or something. It's That's a whole meal. I don't need anything else. It's thick and creamy, accented with subtle flavors of potatoes, carrots, and leeks. And it's really, really good. You don't add anything to it. And it does have a pop top on it. This is 28 ounces. And it is, it is so good. And this whole can is only 300 calories. But don't look at this, the sodium content. You will die. I don't eat it super often, but when it starts to get cold, I will make a whole meal out of this. This would be my, this would be my dinner. <laughs> it's so good. It is so delicious. Oh my gosh. And it is imported from Germany, which is pretty cool. I have another soup here. This one I don't like as much, but that potato soup is really good. This is German bean soup right here. It's a hearty bean soup with a blend of potatoes, carrots, and onions. It's also from Germany, and it does have a pop top on it. This is also 28 ounces. A big, hearty can of soup. Look at that. Wow. It's a lot. They have some other flavors, too, but that potato is just my absolute favorite. It is so good. It picked up some little fruit cups. If somebody wanted to make a lunch or, you know, just have a snack, we have from Lunch Buddies Tropical Fruit. What all do we have in there? All kinds of yummy stuff. Papaya, pineapple, uh, white grape juice, and lemon juice concentrate. So there are four little containers of tropical fruit in here. They don't have to be refrigerated or anything. And also got some little containers of mandarin oranges as well, and that's four of those. Look at those little oranges in there. Look at those little babies. So we got oranges too. And another thing that the list said that people like to get but you don't see as often at uh, food pantries is cooking oil. Um, so I picked up a couple of oils here. I have olive oil right here. We have the Carlini olive oil for grilling, best for grilling, sauteing, and marinades. And it is really good olive oil. I use this myself. It takes me forever to go through one of these, but I, this is what I use. And it's a plastic bottle and it has the little grips on the sides right here. This is a half, 500 milliliters, 16.9 ounces of Carlini, just plain old olive oil. And I also picked up some Carlini pure vegetable oil. This is a larger container. This is 48 ounces of pure vegetable oil, zero grams of trans fat, and a cholesterol-free food. Cooking oil right there. We have just a little bit more. I know last time I did this, we got peanut butter and jelly, and I did that. We have peanut delight, crunchy peanut butter. It's kind of dark. We have this crunchy peanut butter. 18 ounces and I also picked up some peanut delight creamy peanut butter. This is also 18 ounces in here 
I don't like a spoon of peanut butter just as a snack myself. I've got two kinds of jelly. We have Concord grape jelly. Now, Peanut Delight, is that an Aldi brand? I believe it is. It is. Berry Hill is another Aldi brand that you see on a lot of the jellies and preserves. This is a plastic container of Concord grape jelly. 30 ounces in this big old container. We also have a glass jar of Berry Hill Strawberry Preserves. This is 18 ounces of delicious strawberry preserves. I'm not going to put bread or anything in the blessing box because it's kind of out in the sun and I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to put anything in there that might get hot. So I don't put bread and stuff in there like that. We have two little snack kits. Look at this. From Northern Catch, we have tuna salad in a little pop-top can and it comes with crackers. So you can make a little a tuna salad cracker. This is a great little thing to take with you just for a snack like when you're at work or just away from home. And this one, these are really good. This is the chicken salad in the little pop-top can with crackers. This is from Brookdale, which is an Aldi brand, and you'll see that on... They have a really good chili, a, a can of chili that you can get it with beans or without. It's really good. And you see that name on... Um, some of the other stuff, like they have their version of Spam. I believe that's Brooktail. You see it on other stuff, too. We have some other tuna. We have two other options for tuna. You can also get the tuna in these little pouches like this. Now, these are from Northern Catch, which is an Aldi brand. See, there's the little twice as nice guarantee. 2.5 ounces. You can get it in water, which has kind of the yellow look to it. Or, oh no, I'm sorry, that's no, that is water. Oh, I see the difference. This is zesty lemon pepper chunk like tuna. I thought one was water, one was oil. No, this is the original in water. Premium chunk like tuna in water. So that doesn't have any flavor added to it. I don't like tuna, so I don't know all this stuff. I don't like fish at all. I, I don't ugh, I don't like seafood either. I never have. This is zesty lemon pepper chunk like tuna in water. So both of these are in water. So you could eat it like on a sandwich, you could put it in a salad like this, or with some crackers, whatever you want to do. It's not resealable, so once it's open, you have to eat it or refrigerate it. It does say it has an easy open pouch and no draining, so you don't have to drain either of these. So these are, and they're very small too, look. Look how skinny they are, they don't take up any room at all. The only way I eat fish is salmon patties, but they have to be made the way I make them. <laughs> they're very bland. They just, they're like a meat biscuit, basically. I've never liked fish. I love to go fishing, but I don't eat fish. I throw them back, and I don't like any seafood. I actually, the two times I tried to eat some seafood, I had an allergic reaction. <laughs> so, I, I don't, I don't care. I didn't like it anyway. And I picked up some stuffing mix. Look at this. This is from Chef's Cupboard. We have a turkey stuffing here. It's kind of like stovetop. Cooks in five minutes. You need a cup of water and some butter, or half, one and a half cups of water and some butter to make that. And they even have, and this they don't have all the time, but they have their Hawaiian, Hawaiian stuffing mix again, if you like that. This is the first time I've seen it in Aldi so far this year. <laughs> they always have it around the holidays. It's made with Hawaiian bread, has classic herbs and spices. Same thing, one and a half cups of water and a quarter of a stick, a quarter of a cup of butter. Very easy to make. And finally, we have some meal bars here. Now these are from Elevation, which is an Aldi brand. This is a protein meal bar you get six uh, protein bars in here. This is a strawberry flavor. And this box also is perforated, so you can open it up and use it as a dispenser. You can remove down here and this top, and then you just take the bars out as you need them. So that's elevation. That's the strawberry flavor, and we also have the chocolate peanut butter flavor protein meal bars. They have 12 vitamins and minerals, 10 grams of fiber per serving. Look at that. This also contains six meal bars in here. Chocolate, peanut butter. 
Oh, this was something they had. This was on the seasonal food aisle where they have stuff they don't have all the time. I've never seen these before, but I bought a box of these to go in there too. Fruits balls. Energy balls. It's balls. Why is it a ball? I don't know, but it's double filled fruits balls. We have 20 energy balls. Peanut butter and jelly and cookie dough. This, nourish, this nourishing fusion of real fruit and tasty nuts comes from clean, green, Fru Zealand, New Zealand. Perfect for lunch boxes, pre-workouts, hiking, biking, and breakfast on the run. Fruz balls. Funny name. Serious plant power. Enjoy these delicious double-filled energy balls filled with real fruit, yummy nuts, zero junk. So you get peanut butter jelly and you also get cookie dough in here. So you have the two flavors. Interesting. So this is not an Aldi brand. I just thought it looked interesting. So I thought I would put some of those in there too. And finally, from Millville again, we have Trail Mix Chewy Granola Bars. So this is the fruit and nut granola bar. You get six in this container in this pretty little purple and brown box. This also becomes a dispenser. It is perforated. You can tear it down here and then right down here. You're going to remove this whole section and it becomes a little dispenser for your little chewy granola bars. Look at that. Trail mix. Six bars. They do look good. Look at all that good stuff in there. They have raisins, almonds, peanuts, and cranberries. It does look good. These bars have no artificial flavors or high fructose corn syrup, no certified synthetic colors or synthetic preservatives. Very nice. I like to have just nice convenient stuff for on the go and yummy stuff too. So that is everything and it's certainly not going to fit all at once, but I'm going to get in there what I can and then go back in a few days and it empties out very quickly and I will go back in a few days and put some more in there. So that is it. That's a lot. I don't. I think that's the most I've ever bought at once for the blessing box. But I'm so happy to do it, and I, I have the week off, and so I'm out running errands anyway. So while I'm out, I can just go by there and do that. So that's awesome. I'm glad that I was able to do that during my week off. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed getting to see all these cool little things here. We got some great stuff to go in there. And I found a pair of jeans that hopefully I can wear to work on Fridays, too. So that's good, too. <laughs> and thank you so much for being here. I really hope that you have a fantastic day. And I'll see you again soon.